Hello fellow crafters, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Hey y'all, 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 hey y'all. Welcome back, y'all. If you're new here, welcome. If not, you already know what it is. Welcome back. So, y'all, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is going through the creation of a puzzle, making a puzzle, a laserable file for a puzzle. This um, can be done in any uh, shape, but today we're going to be doing a heart-shaped file. So first, what we're going to do is start off in the puzzle generator. I just Google puzzle generator and pick whichever one. So I can go through Glowforge and pick a puzzle. Um, there's a puzzle generator over there. Or you can just Google puzzle generator and they're all pretty much um, the same. So what we're going to be doing is getting these puzzle pieces which we won't need the actual puzzle pieces i'll show you once we get over into silhouette business but the seed so we're going to start with the top the seed is just like it changed the orientation of the um the puzzle pieces it changes like the size the orientation or the shape of them the direction that they're going all of that so that's what the seed is the tab the tab just changes the the puzzle pieces, makes them smaller, like more narrow. So that's what that does. And then, or the um, yeah, I'm sorry for saying um, I am so working on that, y'all. I'm working on it. <clears throat> so it changes the piece that connects to the other piece. If you know what I'm saying, like this part. That's what the tab changes. So you see it gets larger and then it gets smaller. And then the jitter, I never really mess with the jitter, but hmm, I like the jitter. I like messing with the jitter. I haven't really messed with that. Okay, so that's like a straight up and down. And then this um, changes the, it makes it more different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, okay, so now we're going to go down to the tiles. The tiles it, are these right here. So if I have a three by four, it's going to go three this way and then four down. Okay, so you could put three by five and it's just going to do the same thing. Three this way, five down. So let's see what two does. Two by four. And that jitter, we can change the jitter on it. Okay, we I like that right there. So we're going to keep this right here. And then um, all we do, so the size is up to you. I'm not going to change the size because the size does not matter to me at this moment. So we're going to go ahead and download the SVG. And it downloads, as you can see. I've already done a couple of these. So it downloads. And we're going to go into Silhouette Business. Okay, y'all. So here we are in Silhouette. And I am using Silhouette Business because as far as I know, okay, and this is as far as I know, I need to use like an SVG or a vector file when you're dealing with laser, okay? So in like Silhouette um, Basic Edition or the Designer you can't create like SVGs, PNGs, or anything like that um, as far as I know. I haven't used designer and basic in so long because I've had business for a long time. But if I'm wrong, somebody correct me and leave it down in the comments for me, please. So here we are in Silhouette Business. And what we want to do is create a heart. First off, I'm going to go ahead and bring in that file that we saved previously or that we downloaded previously so let's go ahead and do that so the drop down boxes you all won't see them but i'm going to try my best to explain them um or to explain exactly what i'm doing so we're going to go ahead and hit merge 
from the file drop down menu merge we're going to go to downloads and the jigsaw we're going to and you see it has loaded here then next we're going to do what we're going to do is go over to the left hand side of the screen and over here you see the heart but these are your shapes so um, a window pops open with all of the shapes that you can choose um, on your laptop <clears throat> not on your laptop I'm sorry it's for silhouette um, shapes and we're going to choose the heart because that's what we want to do and we're going to go ahead and draw our heart okay so this is the heart So to begin with, you can make it any size you want. <clears throat> okay, so I want to show you something. Like you see these two dots here. This is just like to size it. Okay. And if you hit shift and size it, it doesn't move the top portion. <clears throat> well, it does move it. yeah but anyway that's to size it okay so you can size it from the corners as well but so if you double click on this it's not going to give you the um points where you can change like the if you wanted to move the sides in or you know take some of the curve out of the heart or whatever you wanted to do to it it's not going to do that you can't double click on it and do that so what you need to do is right click and go down to convert to path that's with this shapes on the um left hand side you're going to go to convert to path okay and when you convert it to path those two dots are gone and now if you double click on it these come up like your editing points okay your editing points come up and you can move them in you can do whatever you wanted to do to them right and it changes okay so we're just going to I'm sorry, yeah. we're gonna control Z that out. Okay, so now what I want, I want my heart to be, we're gonna say 9.5. So I'm going to unlock, okay, I'm going to unlock my aspect ratio. And I'm going to do 9.5 by 9.5. And this is the heart that we're working with. But if I wanted to do, we're going to control Z. So let's just say I didn't um, unlock my aspect ratio. So the widest point of my, the widest point, y'all, if y'all hear something like a little rat, yeah, we have, her name is Journey and she's back there messing with stuff. So just please be patient with me, y'all. So if I don't, un, if I do not unlock my aspect ratio and the widest point that I want my heart to be is 9.5. I'll go ahead and put 9.5 and then the height is going to automatically calculate according to what I put in the width. Okay, so it's going to be 8.740. I'm not too happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and try, let's try 9.750, 9.75. We'll build off of this. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have our heart, and here over here is our um, puzzle that we created in the puzzle generator. So this is a SVG. SVGs come in as pieces, but all of this is made into a um, compound path. So all of it is connected at this point. However, you can release compound path. So we're going to go ahead and right click and release compound path and now you're going to see all of these are individual pieces all of the stuff is individual okay and those are the point the uh, parts that we're going to use in our puzzle that we want to create now you can get very creative with this it can take um, some time for you to do but you can be as creative creative as you want to be so you can even find lines from other places if you let's just say um google like the heartbeat line or the ekg machine that's what it is um lines or anything like that you can get as creative as you want to 
it may take some time y'all so we're just going to pull this over here and i'm going to put it right here in the center so this is going to be our starting point with our design without creating our puzzle i want to pull this down because what i want to do Okay, y'all, so let's just say I wanted to stop right there. So this extra part right here, I could um, put put it back up. You know, I could minimize this, like shrink it and make it all fit in there. Um, but I'm not feeling that, so we're going to put it here. And I'm going to go over on the left-hand side, grab my eraser, <coughs> and... Let me make my eraser a little bit bigger. And I am going to erase just that. I'm just going to do one little dot. And so it disconnects this piece from the other piece. Okay, You can save this if you want to or you can delete it. I'm going to delete it. <clears throat> and now let me show you. Okay. So right here, we want to connect this part to this right here which is pretty much connect i mean it looks pretty good to me so it's not a biggie for this part right here no biggie it is connected but the bottom part is going off to the side you can leave it this way however i want to have mine going that straight down to the center so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another point here. I'm going to pull this. Control Z. Control Z, y'all. <laughs> Control Z. <clears throat> Click on that. Now I'm going to pull that to here. I'm going to pull that to the center. Right there. Okay, and now this point right here, I'm just going to move it over. And you get it into this point right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete. And select delete point. Okay. And now this. I want to make it even straighter. I'm going to delete that point. Okay. And I'm going to bring it down just a touch. Now it's in the center. And that is how you move your points. And it's all to your liking. You're the creator. You do what you want to do, right? So now that we have that, you can leave it as is. And this would just be two pieces of a puzzle. Bam. Have one thing on one side, one thing on the other. Y'all, that's starting back there. Don't forget. Um, so, but we are going to take it a little bit further because I think I want to make this puzzle about um, 12 pieces, somewhere around there. So, let's go ahead and we're going to grab another one of these from the other puzzle, okay? And we're going to put it right here. I don't know if y'all can see that drop down. I doubt it. So that right there, and we'll shrink it to that size right there. That looks good to me. And we can duplicate this. We can bring it down here. Or you can flip it. So over on the right hand side, there's something that kind of looks like a star, but a disconnected star, a butterfly, I mean a dragonfly, something like that. That is where nope i am incorrect i am incorrect so the bars there's three bars over here you're going to go to the circle arrow and that is how you flip a design or something in silhouette so we're going to flip it like that to see if we like that and Let's see if we, and this is all in creating or doing what you want to do. 
So this part right here, I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then pull it over. Jumper, what you doing, girl? Okay, so now, and this we can actually, whoops, we're going to control Z that. Just make it smaller, right? So let's just say we want to stop right here, okay? Then we can grab another one, or we can duplicate either one of these pieces. Because now you're actually really building your own puzzle. You're building or making happen what you want to make happen. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to create a heart, a small heart, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and convert this to path to make it just able to edit. I'm going to turn it this way. And we are going to slap it right there. And I'm going to turn it red just for this, just for so you can see. Okay. Just so you can see it. So now we have our heart there that is going to cut out in the middle of that puzzle piece. And this heart is going to be a puzzle piece. So now we have 13 pieces. We can... I can dig it. I can dig it. It doesn't look too bad. I can dig it. So this is how you would create a puzzle, y'all. And then we're going to put like sayings on these. So let's just say, I love you. And we're just going to put the you or should we put, yeah, let's just be adults about it. And put the you. So we're going to center that and we are going to... So over on my right hand side is the text panel. You have your paint panel. All of those panels um, are over on the side. Like if you want to offset something, those things. So we are going to go to our text panel. And remember, y'all can't see the drop downs. I'm sorry. You can't see the tabs when they're open. So we're going to go to Melanie. That is the font that I'm using. Melanie is the font. And I'm going to go to line spacing. I'm going to change the line spacing to 65. Uh, maybe not 65 because that one. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to check. The line spacing is at 45. I prefer it to be closer. Okay. So, and then we would just put these here, right? So you just put them on your puzzle pieces. The words are going to be engraved these the puzzle pieces will be cut the outside heart here will be cut I mean it's cutting out the puzzle pieces so it's going to cut it out in the shape of a heart then on here this will be cut out but we may put like established in such and such whenever they got together or whenever they got married you know something significant can go on the heart so you can engrave that on the heart so let's just put established in 2004 so that is when my husband and I got together and we got married in 2009 so we're going to we're going to offset this heart and so the offset is a star with another star around it over on the right hand corner we're going to hit offset and the offset i want it to be 0 
perfect that's perfect so now we're going to do another offset on the offset so we would click over there and click the new then offset and we're going to make that um, offset a 0 0.750 so we're going to hit offset and 750 okay so now that we have that part done we're going to copy well duplicate let's go ahead and duplicate is what i'm trying to say we didn't have to du duplicate the puzzle pieces um nor do we have to duplicate the inside heart so i'm going to go ahead and take those off let me see if y'all can see it okay so we're going to take the inside heart off and we're going to take the puzzle pieces off okay so now this heart right here I want to offset this heart by 0 0.250. I'm going to click on that heart. I'm going to hit offset and we're going to do 250. Okay, so what happened here? What happened? Offset. Wait a minute. Let's go back. There was too many hearts there. Okay, so we're going to do this one offset is right there and we're going to put a two and so now that gives us an offset so this part right here this this part right here is going to be the top it's the cover this part with the puzzle pieces in it is of course the bottom okay so now what i want to do is change my colors so when I move it into my laser software, it can recognize separate pieces like so that it does not group everything together or have them all in the same cut or engraved um, file. It's not necessarily a file, but you'll see when I go into Glowforge to see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here, this right here is going to be a cut and a score okay so this the center part i'm going to go ahead and group those two together or i can make it a compound path i'm going to make it a compound path and we're going to put the lines the line is what matters the line we're going to change that line color to purple purple is going to be our score color and red is going to be our cut color and then we are going to have black for our engraved color I hope I can remember that. <laughs> so on this right here, this is perfect. So red is going to be cut. Purple is going to be scored. We're going to cut this out. And we want to score this on the cutout part. So it doesn't it doesn't engrave. It just create it makes a line. So you know, like, okay, I'm going to be putting another piece on there, going it on. I have it lined up already I know exactly where the piece goes okay so that's that so I want to duplicate this piece I want to duplicate it because I also want to make it a cut piece as well so did I say red is going to be our cut so I'm going to make the line on this red right now this is the top the part that goes on the top so I want to engrave something on the top put something on the top I have created another one that I will be cutting on live today at 5 p.m. so that we can see if it works out I have not tried it out yet I don't know if it's going to be a hit or miss we're gonna all see together <laughs> so um right here on this part if i wanted to score these onto the bottom i could actually um, i would duplicate all of this okay duplicate oh shoot that's not okay so <laughs> i'm sorry yeah we're going to duplicate this entire thing 
and I'm moving down here. So I could select all of that, right? Select just like it's all selected down here. I could do that and go over here to this panel where it's the broken star. And there's actually a duplicate that's turning out. There's also a there's actually a duplicate. Um, section in here where you can duplicate up and down however many rows you want to duplicate but sometimes I just right click and hit duplicate okay so now I have done it down there this is if I wanted to score the puzzle pieces on the bottom I would duplicate that so I would um, leave these puzzle pieces here change the color to score which would be purple so I would change all of these to purple right just like so. I mean, I didn't change them all to purple. But let's just do that. But I have everything selected. So now I'm going to hit so, um, hold down shift and unselect what I don't want to be purple. Right. And then we would make it purple. So now, oh, these two I did not. Uh, make compound there. Let's do that now. Okay, so I've made the compound pen because these two right here would actually be scored on here as well, right? And then this would be a cut piece. These are engraved, but they, if I was scoring on the bottom, these would not be down here. They would only be on this piece right here. Okay. They would not be here, they would only be here. So let me go ahead and make these a compound pad. And that is going to be a cut. This is going to be a cut. So we don't need this outside here. Because we're cutting it up here. Right? And so I'm not going to score, well, I'm not going to leave the score here on this one. I will be doing it on the one that's on live. I'm going to be scoring. So maybe I should leave it there. Maybe I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so now this whole thing right here, is there any warning? This whole thing right here, I would change to red. Red, okay. But this, I'm going to go ahead and change these right here to black because they're going to be engraved so it's going to be a totally different process with those but this whole file is going to be uploaded together that's how i do mine don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video